Good morning and welcome back to Padilla Palace Projects. We are out in the garden today. Um, I'm going to be planting out the peppers. I'll pop in the weather. So for me, this is when I plant them out. It's still a little cold at, cold at night, but we're going to be in the 40s consistently um, starting tonight at night. And then we're going to be up in the 70s for the next two weeks. Um, if we get cooler than that, for some reason and I will do some protection over it and stuff but usually as long as I water they're fine I did it earlier than this last year and they were fine so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get them out plus I need some room in my dining room back so I'm gonna get these out today and then I'm also going to be fertilizing uh, the dwarf tomatoes and some of my other plants I didn't get to that last week because I pulled a muscle in my butt so um, I'm still really sore today. I, every day I'm like down for a day and then I try to get up and do stuff and then I'm down the next day. So if I would just stay in bed, probably better, but I can't just stay in bed. So we are out here gardening and we are gonna get this planted. So come along with me. Look what I found. These are beans that I planted when I first got this and I didn't think that they had germinated. Some of them had rotted, but lo and behold, they are sprouting. 
So I may try to plant these elsewhere, but don't give up on your stuff too soon. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize a little bit on some of the stuff that's already been out here. All the plants that just got put out are gonna be a little bit, are gonna be fine for a little bit because they just got brand new potting soil around their roots. So they're gonna use up those nutrients. Um, but I have a bone meal, which is uh, two nitrogen and 14 phosphate. So when you're looking at um, the numbers, the NPK, the middle one, I believe is the one you want for the more fruit growth and root growth. And then nitrogen is for your leaf growth. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of both of these. So this one is blood meal. And a couple of my things need nitrogen right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add bone meal right now. I mean blood meal. And I'm also gonna add bone meal to some of the stuff that's already been out here. And then um, in a week or so, I'll mix up some liquid uh, fish fertilizer and I'll pour it in the top thing. And um, that will fertilize all the way down, which is awesome. Because I just um, planted and I put some extra soil on and I put some of this fertilizer on, um, I am going to water the pockets gently. Then I'm also going to water it just gently just to get a little bit of that going through. And then I'm going to water from the top down like it's supposed to. And then from here on out, I will just water from that top thing and go all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and water now. what I got at the nursery. So we went to a couple different nurseries. Um, I'm gonna do a container with some mint in it. And so I wanted to make sure I had six pockets, all for mint. And um, I was looking for chocolate mint and I could not find it anywhere for some reason this year. But I found some decent replacements and I'm super excited. So I did get regular peppermint. And I got just a basic mint plant. It smells so good. And then we got an orange mint. I'm, the jury's still out on this, but I want to try it as a tea. And then, what is this one? Then we got apple mint. This one smells really good. Guys, this one is amazing. It is strawberry mint and you can smell strawberry. I am like so excited to put this in water and to make teas with it and so forth. Like I'm so excited about this. And then this one was another really unique one and it's called berries and cream. And it's another one that smells super fruity but it also has that mint kick to it. So I'll be planting these tomorrow along with some Italian oregano, some Greek oregano, 
English time, I have lemon time that lasted from last year. And then hopefully some rosemary that will stick around and the caterpillars won't go. So that's what I'm going to be growing, um, planting tomorrow. Okay, so I'm not going to do a full garden tour, but I am going to show you a few different spots that I'm growing outside. Um, my husband and I talked because of the green stock towers. Um, I am not going to be growing in the garage this year unless it becomes necessary due to smoke um, or the apartments. So at that point, I'll move to the garage, but my operation out there is going to close off. Um, it's already really warm out there, and I'm just I'm not having good success. So. Um, instead of trying to problem solve that, I'm going to put my energy elsewhere, which is great. So if I didn't have these towers, I would put the energy into the garage. But I'm going to show you what I have a little bit of outside um, right now because it'll probably change by the time I have the garden tour. So in this bin, this has a bunch of lettuces. Um, I have a butter crunch lettuce and a romaine lettuce. And then I went ahead and I planted out my Dr. Uh, Witchies or Whitechies uh, tomato plant out here. By the time this gets big enough to need these to be gone, they will be gone. So we are thinning them out by when we make salads. We'll take little sprigs and um, we'll pull a plant that's too close to another one. And then we'll be doing cut and come again until it's time to be done. And then I have a nasturtium in here. So I have a nasturtium and that will be with the tomato and then I will probably put a marigold and uh, basil in here as well. So that's this little container. Just watered this so everything's kind of fallen over. I've got some turnips going in here, um, a nasturtium. This is my really pretty nasturtium that is blooming. We've taken a few pieces off of this and added it to eggs and stuff. Um, I have my giant red leaf mustard. It's one of our favorite greens to grow. And then I have a bunch of new babies of it that are gonna be grown up to take this one's place. And then chives. It's almost time for them to get a haircut again. So these little containers are going to be um, thrown away. They're dollar store containers. Uh, they were from, I bought them last year and they're already super faded and breaking in certain spots. So this was the last round of radishes I was growing in this and then they were gonna go. Um, they started to show really yellow and some red. So I did fertilize them last week with some of the bone meal um, and I got a bone meal last week because it's super high in nitrogen and then the blood meal I just did now. Um, but there's been a ton of new growth on these since I fertilized and the new leaves do not have the discoloration. I'm just leaving the discolored leaves on for now. So you could tell like there's a lot of new growth in these. So all radishes, these containers will be tossed when they're done and go from there. Our neighborhood cats have been digging in our zinnia patch. So we'll see what happens there. And then this pot is one of my favorites. This is lemon thyme. This is seriously one of my favorite herbs. It overwintered great. A lot of this is new growth. I need to pull out the leaves from fall and winter. And then in the middle is a lemon verbena that is starting to come back to life. All that new growth on the branches. Thanks for coming along with me and planting out my peppers today. I'm super excited um, and fertilizing with me. And then I will be planting some more stuff tomorrow, which you won't see on video. Um, I may post some pictures on Instagram. Um, I'll be planting as long as my bottom is letting me this kind of stretch it out pretty bad. And then um, from there, I will be starting garden tours, full garden tours on how everything is going once a month at the beginning of the month. So it'll be that first Monday of the month, I think is what I'm going to do. So make sure you stay tuned for those. Subscribe, like, and comment. Um, let me know what the weather is like where you are. I know not everybody has uh, the weather that we have right now. And it is, uh, I'm in 9B in Northern California, just north of Sacramento. So you guys have a great day, a blessed day, and make sure you subscribe and like and comment.